Um, I do believe in being well-rounded, but it's obvious that I have specialized in freights. And so I do want to, um, I do want to distinguish, I want to give it up for the, like the real bombers, like people who have gone all city, especially in a, in a tough place like New York or LA or something. Um, and you know, they, they get the, there's a lot of heat there and y your risk of getting arrested is higher just doing the actual actions. Um, so I think it was Chip, um, from NSF. He had a quote in the original, like freight train graffiti book where it was like, you know, it's not a badge of courage to do a lot of freights. And I don't disagree with that. Mm. Um, I have had to get certain cars where I'm like, like, I got to get my Tropicana. I got to get, you know, this, this certain cars that I'll see. And I'm like, Ooh, that looks like a hot spot, but I need that car. And I'll take an extra risk, and it's I'm taking about as much risk as like maybe doing a highway spot, um, but that's about as hot as it gets for freights. And I use my intelligence and my knowledge to make my life easier, to make the get over easier, by you know painting in the sweet spots, knowing the schedules, painting you know researching chiller spots to do freights. Um, so I have to, I want to make a distinction between people who have the balls to go all city. Um, and, and they're out there in public and they get chased and they, you know, there's a lot of, um, and there's more, you know, like vandal squad attention on that kind of stuff. Um, I want to, I want to draw a distinction between that and going like all continent with freights. Um, I'm not putting down what I do. I'm just saying it's a, it's a, it's Two a different, different, things. different, different kind of game, yeah. you know, d different aspect of the game. I've, I've bombed, you know, I've done, I've done street stuff. I've done, you know, um, highway spots. I've done, um, you know ton of track sides and stuff like that and and some you know bandos obviously everybody wants to go out and do a bando when you get um nothing else popping um but um i definitely have specialized and i don't mind taking the i don't mind people pointing that out and saying well maybe you you've been at it longer and you've done a lot of work but it's been in this uh, lower risk atmosphere and, you know, I don't mind people pointing that out. I don't mind pointing that out. So I got to give it up to the people who really, you know, fucking crushed like cities mm -hmm. to get up on different. You, you can't hit every car. There's two million cars. There's two million cars in circulation and they're building new ones and taking old ones out of service. So it's it's really more like probably two and a half million cars that you've got to like. So that's not happening. But the way to get saturation is... Um, you look for all the different brands. You look for all the different car types. Um, traveling's important because the freights travel, but not every freight travels to me. There's some that'll run like, you know, they run from Texas to Cali and maybe dip into Mexico once in a while, and that's it. Just stay there, they yeah. never come here. They won't even cross the Mississippi River, so I got to go get those. So, um, so. I've done a lot of homework and I know a, a lot about the railroads, the railroad companies, you know, the big four class ones, short lines, um, what goes where. So, um, the way to get saturation, the, the, the sort of, um, what you're talking about, like trying to get every block, every borough bombing, the, the freight version of that is to get all the different lines to travel and get cars that don't come to you. And to hit all different types of cars. There's a lot of people out there who all they want to hit is reefers or all they want to hit is auto racks or box cars. And that's nice. I love those. You know, part of a balanced diet, but you gotta hit the gondolas, you gotta hit the clunky cars, the gravel cars, you know, the maintenance away cars that are all beat to shit. Um, tankers need some love, hoppers. Um, so you gotta hit it all and if you're savvy about I actually collected um I keep track of like all my freights in a law. It's all in like code, but it's like I log every freight. And I also did a count of like all the different reporting marks. And I'm like in the 300 different reporting marks for, you know, for career, for, for cars that I've gotten. And um, I'm always looking every time I, if something comes to me and it's a car I've never seen before, I got to hit that car. And if I'm traveling, I'm like, ooh, what's that? I got to get that car. I was with some guys um, out west, and you know they love their auto racks. They were all about the auto racks. And now I'm far from home, so we're we're going into the yard, and um, 
they're they're headed for the racks and they're climbing over these other lines of stuff and I'm like, what are these cars? It's like an ATSF rock car with the with the eight you know Atchison Topeka Santa Fe logo on it. I'm like, I gotta hit this and they're like, oh those are just local dogs. They don't go anywhere. I'm like, I'm not from here. I gotta get that car. You guys go hit the racks. I'm, I'm gonna paint this car here. So uh, so yeah, that's the um, that's what you have to do to get the to get the full saturation is you you can't um, you can't turn down certain cars just because they don't go far or they're uh you know they don't have the nice smooth sides on them i i checked my records and i've got six thousand one hundred and thirty four freights career that i count and i have like a minimum level for what i count you know like like a, a bubble one bubble fill i don't count that or like you know tags or hollows or whatever. what do you count kind of those uh it's got to be like a you know there's a minimum like a stamp or I do what I call the double bubble, like two bubble throws, like on a panel next to each other. Um, that's that's like the minimum. That's 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 my bar for for what counts for that for that number I just gave you. Um, but um, I don't know. I just I just keep going because I I love it. Um, I love what I do, and I can't seem to like. I assumed that as I got older, I would slow down, and you know just go out once in a while and and that's what most of my um most of my crewmates who are closer to my age that's that's where they're at it's they're like semi-retired they they get out in the summertime once in a while when the good spots laid up the, i can maybe drag them out to do a freight or two um you know some of the boys are a little still still trying to get it but they got families and mortgages and jobs and all kinds of stuff and i'm still living the, the sort of you know just that that loose lifestyle where I've got a lot of free time, so I'm I'm still I'm still doing it as much as ever. I did. Um, 2020 was a good year because, as you know, you know, all my other shit got canceled, so there was nothing to do but paint. And uh, you know, the 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 plague didn't really change my life that much because I was already into avoiding people and 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 you know. <laughs> And wearing a mask all the time, so you know, for for paint fumes. So I was like, all right, whatever. So I got like I got over five hundred that year, what? and I've got over three hundred this year. So I haven't, I've 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 been kind of surprised. I've been expecting to slow down, and I just haven't because I'll be at home and I'll be like, I'm fiending, or you know, I'll go to the bench spot or I'll go to the yard and be like, ooh, there's a you know, there's a BNSF laid up. I got to get that. You know, like I just roll by the bench here. And I was like, ooh, there's a BNSF. I'd love to get that car. And then I went around the other side. And I'm like, oh, I'm already on it. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, I'll do something until I am sick of it. And f for reasons I don't understand, I'm not sick of that thing yet. Um, for me, the um, I used to, you know, when I was when I was a toy and when I was trying to come up and a few years after I got reasonably, you know, competent at actually writing and painting. Um, I tried to, I tried to work on like black book stuff. I tried to work on letters, you know, improve my hand style. Um, try to, try to get those bars that sort of Wayne COD kind of style, you know, that's just, and what I found was I kind of beat my head against the wall for a while. I can do a, I can freestyle something. I can do some, some different stuff from time to time. But what I realized was I don't, I don't have a huge amount of talent. I'm not like the style master. Um, and I really got to like the look of those, of the, of the block letters, the TikTok, the simple stuff. And so I sort of maxed out on, on, you know, beating my head against the wall, trying to, trying to improve styles, letter styles. Mm -hmm. That's blasphemy to some people in the game who are like, it's all about letters, especially, um, like veterans who have been, who, you know, came up in the, you know, 80s, 90s or whatever, they're like, it's all about the letters. And I'm like, I agree to a point, but it's also about getting your name out there mm -hmm. with a certain style. Mm -hmm. And it's not that block letters are hard, but I've done something that's recognizable and has become a trademark. And so that is kind of my style. The TikTok on the skull is like, oh yeah, that dude, mm -hmm. like you can't miss that. And so when it comes to why have I not gotten sick of it yet is... Um, I kind of want, I want my signature piece, like the, the TikTok and the skull. I want that on as many different lines and as many different types of train in North America as I can get. 
that same thing. So there's an element of like branding. Um, there's, you know, there's some, there's writers you've never heard of. They're like the hometown kid and they're actually decent stylists, but they change their style every time they go out and their shit's hard to read. So you do, you wouldn't you could look at twenty of their pieces, not know it was the same guy, and only be able to read two of them. You're not you're not getting known that way. That's that's, I mean it's it's fine if you're not trying to get known, and, and this is just what you want to do. You want to paint bandos and under bridges and just flip styles, and you don't care who knows what you do. You just love it. That's fine. But if you um if you're trying to get known. If you, if you want to be up and you want to be known as, as that dude, um, you do have to pay attention to the idea of branding. Mm -hmm. So you, your stuff should be legible, especially on freights. Legible stuff just makes more sense for freights. And um, if you change up your style every time and people can't read it, you know, you're, you're, sort, of dil you're sort of diluting your, um, diluting the effects. I think now, if I really wanted to, I could flip some completely different shit and, you know, just put my hand style next to it in my cruise. And people will be like, oh, wow, that's the same dude. And, you know, I could, I could probably, you know, um, blow some people's minds with that if I, if I really wanted to do that. But I just haven't gotten sick of that, <laughs> that same piece yet. 